Hey guys, it's AJ Hazzy and welcome back to the Vantage West Academy. Today we are gonna talk about fixing your digital footprint. I'm always surprised whenever I'm consulting agents at just how many gaps there are in terms of their online digital footprint. Now, if you're a digital guru and you've got this stuff unlocked, this video might not be for you. But if you think there might be some ways that you could enhance the way you appear online to your customer, then stay tuned because we're gonna walk you through a few simple ones that you can implement on your own to uh, elevate yourself in the eyes of the consumer. So number one is your Google business account. You should have this. This is where you would send somebody to write a review for you. You wanna make sure that this Google business account is keyworded for all the areas that you serve. It should talk realtor, real estate agent. It should be keyworded so that you show up no matter what people search. Now, if you have pics of awards, pictures of you and happy customers, even just pictures of reviews online that you've gotten previously on other platforms, uh, any kind of accreditations you've got, any video content you've created, you wanna put all of that up there. Now, because Google owns YouTube, having videos on YouTube and having those in your Google uh, business account is gonna help you elevate in, uh, in the search rankings. Now, the next and probably the most important piece of your Google business account is reviews. You can take a look at your competitors to see who on the map, the Google map shows up at the top. It's always the person with the most reviews. So that's your number, that's your target. You wanna beat that person in your marketplace so that you show up as number one, two, or three on the Google map, okay? And number three, always continue to update information on there. Google wants to see that you are updating it, that you're relevant, update your hours, make sure that you're answering the questions when Google asks you the questions because that lets them know that your listing is and should be a top priority. So that's Google businesses. Number two is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is probably the most overlooked social media platform, but it's where professionals go to meet other professionals. And it's also where anybody who is a professional, particularly people in the luxury sector, if they're trying to interview a few agents, they will go on LinkedIn and check out your profile, believe it or not. So you wanna make sure that your profile looks professional, it lists a number of accolades that you've got, the artwork should be professional, not the, the boilerplate stuff that they offer. You should have proper branding on there, a professional photo. You should have all, the, all of your information updated. You should have plenty of connections to show that you're connected because if you have very few connections, people think your network is small. And that's the last thing you want as if you're listing your luxury property with someone is to list it with someone who has a small network. So that gives you a pretty good sense of how LinkedIn should work. There's lots of consultants you can work with on that and lots of great information online, but make sure your LinkedIn profile really works. And as far as what to share on LinkedIn, you don't need to come up with um, your own content. You can curate local industry news, anything that's you know new developments, anything that comes up, you can put that on your feed to show that you're active in the industry and other professionals will see this and uh, you'll find that LinkedIn becomes a major source of business for you. Number three is Facebook. Take a look at your Facebook profile through the eyes of a consumer. Um, if your profile is not private and it's public, what are the photos that people can see? Are they seeing pictures of you partying and vacationing and all those things? Or do you occasionally put some business stuff in there? Do you post pictures of happy clients? Do you post articles and relevant information about your industry? Do you post uh, your own content? So you want to make sure, I mean, I think ideally you've got a public profile and people can see evidence of both your character and your competence within the industry on your Facebook profile. Make sure you get rid of or at least make your party pics private and at all costs, avoid divisive posts. I know it's super tempting to get into the, the Trump Biden stuff. It's, it's tempting to get into the vaccination or anti-vax argument, all those things, but the world is divided about 50-50 on these things. So do we really want to alienate ourselves to half of our potential customer? I think not. There's three things you can do to quickly clean up your digital footprint. Get your Google business thing right, get LinkedIn right, get Facebook right. There's lots more we can do, but I want to keep this video short and succinct. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this kind of content, smash the subscribe button or give me a thumbs up on here and we'll know to keep making it. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in a couple weeks.